Hello, I am Jacob Hofer. I'm David Hamlin. And this is Project 3 for Artificial Intelligence. This is our Bayesian network implementation. So we've got our main network class that actually encapsulates the entire uh, Bayesian network loaded from a .bif file. And in order to actually load the file, we use a network parser class that goes through and we actually designed out an entire grammar for reading out the files and we have a method for every single one of the rules and it basically just kind of does a lot of recursive calls uh, in order to properly parse out the file to our network. Network is our parent class for our two implementations and what network does is it holds an array list of variables and a variable that basically holds the name, it holds the, val the possible values, its parents and children, and then the associated probability. And what probability is, is it points to a variable and it has a list of given variables that uh, the probability of the main variable depends on the values of those. Let's just run it so that we can see all of the output. And my computer is able to chew through it pretty fast, so let's scroll up and take a look at some of this while the rest is still computing. We can see that on the alarm network for no evidence, we have a variable elim for hypolemia, and we get 0.2 and 0.8. And for Gibbs sampling, we get relatively close to that as well. Uh, we can scroll down a little ways. Let's go to, say, moderate evidence. And again, we've got this more exact from variable ELIM and then a very good close estimate from Gibbs sampling. Similarly, for the child network, let's go to, say, little evidence. We've got our, our uh, disjoint probability over a lot of different values. And again, our Gibbs sampling, that matches it relatively close. If we then go through and we can actually debug this, we can take a look at what's happening behind the scenes a little bit better. So the first thing that happens is we are in our variable elim, and this is showing the summing out step. We essentially have a list of, fa of factors that incorporate a whole bunch of different probabilities, and the goal in the end is to get down to one factor that is a giant pointwise product of a whole bunch of summations of other factors and that's what this sum out method is responsible for doing it takes in we have a variable v that we're currently summing out in our case it's history and we are looping through and summing that out from all of our factors and if we step through this it's you can see that all of these factors are starting to update they're a little bit difficult to kind of try to look at but we can see that the values are dynamically changing depending on what is being summed out as they're there's a lot of pointwise products happening and then a lot of summations. And if we step through this a whole bunch of times, we should be able to see that our factors array will slowly start to shrink over time until we're eventually left with just one. So how Gibbs sampling works is um, initially we go through every single variable and we just assign it a value to start out. That's kind of our initial sample. And then, uh, and so right here, sample, it's our hash map. Um, and as we can see, each variable just has a completely random um, initial start value. And then after each new sample, what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, we are going to take one of just a random variable that's not in our observed map, um, and which is where our evidence is stored. And um, yeah, what we're going to do is um, for that variable, we are going to compute the probability um, and assign it a value given um, its Markov blanket. Um, and after one iteration of that, then we're going to you know, repeat the process. We're going to increment and um, do it again with another completely random variable. And as you can see here, I just skipped to the very end uh, so that we can actually see what this returned array will go to. And then at the very end, we'll actually go and we get a nice normalized value, and that is what is returned out of this entire method. Anyways, that is our entire project. We've just got a whole bunch of the probabilities calculating again, just for fun, because we were going through it anyways. So, thank you for watching. Yep, thank you very much.